Bună! Noi suntem la Radisson Hotel astăzi. Să stăm de vorbă cu domnul Luciano Bertinelli, CEO Ferragamo Parfum, cu scopul de a descoperi cel mai nou parfum Ferragamo, un parfum care se lansează în această primăvară de la 1 martie. Așa că vrem să vi-l dezvăluim împreună cu domnul Bertinelli, cum spuneam, CEO Ferragamo Parfum și să vedem ce flori ascunde acest parfum, ce secrete și de ce l-am purtat. Tell me what is it so special about this perfume? This perfume is uh, an idea that uh, we started with uh, with a concept almost uh, one year and a half ago. Okay. <coughs> so it's a long process. Yeah. From the first idea, time to market is 18 months. So it's really something uh, that we have time to digest and to prepare slowly. Um, the idea was basically to to enlarge our consumer base try to reach the new consumers, the millennials. Mm -hmm. uh, more and more, uh, everybody talk about millennials. Uh, yeah. And uh, we tried to develop something that was in line uh, with their expectation, but also in line with our DNA, Ferragamo DNA. So quality, exclusivity, high level, made in Italy. So we tried to match our DNA with the millennials' uh, uh, request. <coughs> Do you like the perfume? When you first uh, smelled it, you liked it? I'm totally involved on that, uh, 100%. So I'm part of the product development uh, process. So, so you're doing more than just the business side of the no, story. No, no, You are involved in, uh, in the making of the perfume. 100%. In the making of the everything. bottle, in the name of the perfume, in everything. Everything. Okay. I, uh, I don't decide alone, of course. There is yes. a team. But I'm involved uh, from the, the beginning, from the shape of the bottle, the fragrance, the communication. We talk later about the communication. Mm -hmm. And uh, so at the end, it's like a small baby. Yeah. Because we work, uh, we work together yeah. one, more than one year. So, so it took you almost two years to come up with this. Uh, almost a little bit less than two years. Mm -hmm. And um, I want to ask you some, <coughs> some, some things about the extra because I know Amo has some big classics <coughs> ingredients, I mean, like uh, jasmine sambac, like sandalwood, like vanilla. Also, it has some uh, weird uh, extracts for a perfume, like uh, rhubarb, right? Rhubarbaro, yes. Rhubarbaro, yes. In Italian, we say rhubarbaro. Rhubarbaro. <laughs> rhubarbaro. <laughs> um, what is it so special about this? Uh, what, what exactly makes this perfume a modern mix? The mix between a bitter accord, we put a bitter accord, that is uh, accordo amaro, we say, bitter accord, and vanilla. So vanilla, that so is... So very contrast. Uh, correct. Con yeah, right. Correct. Too contrast. The contrast between the two, uh, this can, can be something uh, different in the market. So, and uh, the first reaction from the consumer is absolutely amazing and incredible. They really like these two opposition, that these two opposite accord, that mix it together uh, is something that uh, impossible to tell to the camera, but mm. you need to smell, you need really to try and to live with. Okay. Um, why did you choose Suzy Waterhouse as a face Suki of... Waterhouse. Suki Waterhouse. as a face of your uh, fragrance. But Suki because uh, Suki, she's uh, young. 22, 23 years old. And beautiful. <laughs> so beautiful. She's not only a model. We, are n we were not looking for a model. Yeah. We're looking for a woman that is uh, uh, multifacing, you know? Yeah. So she, she's a singer, actress, more and more actress, singer. Uh, she has uh, 1.2 million followers on Instagram. That, okay. is, uh, that is also important now, more and more. And she's full of energy. And you're right, she's so beautiful. The yes. face is amazing. So it was really the right mix uh, between uh, uh, the fragrance, uh, the bottle, uh, and the, and the, uh, and the millennials that we are looking for. Please tell us, um, as a CEO, what, what are the big challenges in today's uh, fragrance market? What this are is the a good question. This is a good question. We always compete, uh, day by day, we compete with uh, big giants, big competitors, 
we compete uh, when we go when we put our fragrance in the perfumery we are close to uh, Dior, Chanel, uh, all the other players, Bulgars, Bulgars, all the other players. You're right. We don't mention the names, but all other players. And this is really a challenge because uh, we are still small. We have a big name, huge name, but in terms of fragrance, we are still small. So we need to compete with competitors that uh, they are ready to invest millions in communication, millions in point of sale. So the competition is not easy. I know you have a, a big asset. I know that Ferragamo is using everything or almost everything from Italy. So it's a hundred percent Italiano Vero brand. Uh, so tell me please about this, about how you, you are taking your extracts. How do you use the, the, the bottle? I know you're, you're working with Italian artists. This is uh, a question that I like because uh, Made in Italy is really part of our DNA. Mm. Not only in fragrance, but in all the all the Ferragamo, all the all Ferragamo. The Ferragamo shoes, represents, the, yes. the core business, yeah. shoes, uh, ties, everything is made in Italy. That now makes the difference because we put attention to the details, the quality of the uh, material is high level. Um, so made in Italy means uh, something uh, really unique for us. The same for fragrance. Mm -hmm. We produce, uh, the glass maker is Italian, Bormioli for instance, so we work with them. Uh, but also the cup, I always repeat, the cup is uh, made in Italy. The, the box is made in Italy. So all the components uh, we produce are made in Italy. That uh, for us... Uh, it's something it special, yeah. It's something really special, almost unique. Uh, do you think it's possible in the future uh, for the online retailing to become the biggest source of sales in fragrance? The future nobody what knows. Is, yeah, the future but what nobody is your knows. Feeling? I like to know the future. <laughs> uh, the feeling. Uh, yes. The feeling, you're right. I guess, uh, of course, more and more. More and more they, uh, they will buy on, online, mm -hmm. will, will grow. But which is the story, especially in a fragrance? You need to smell the fragrance. You cannot buy online. You can buy online the second bottle, mm. but not the first. The first you need to go to the perfumery, you need to try. Discovery. And discovery, and then you can buy. The second bottle, the same, maybe you can buy online. That's for sure. No, it's a good uh, point of view. That's for That's sure. a strategy. So, um, what do you think about fragrance personalization? It's this big trend that also affects uh, perfumery. Uh, more than personalization, I like to talk about niche fragrance that is a little bit different. Personalization uh, is not, it's something really small, small, small. It's a small, um, yeah. Really small. While niche fragrance uh, is now start to become very important. Niche fragrance means to use uh, uh, special bottles, special mm -hmm. components, uh, really high, high level. Special collection, limited edition. Are so you planning to launch any limited, limited edition? You are right. We are, uh, we are working on that. We are ready to launch uh, a special uh, niche fragrance uh, in May, June. Oh, we so it's already in the process. We, are, no, we, work, uh, we start to work two years ago. Yeah. And now we are ready to, to introduce in the market. And uh, in June, we, have a, we are going to have uh, a press conference where we will announce uh, the new baby. Beautiful. So it's a the new it's family. An, it's, it's a new baby fragrance on on the way. Yeah. Uh, coming back to to Amo, how did you come up with the name Amo Ferragamo, which I think it's a very good name. You're right. It's a very good name. This was our uh, at the end our decision. And again, Italiano. Exactly. <laughs> and but it's also a joke uh, that is quite uh, easy for you to understand. Amo Ferragamo. So the last part of Ferragamo is Amo. So it's a nice joke. Very good idea. Uh, so it was like, uh, no, you're right. So when when uh, we saw the name, say this is the name to to tell our story because it's not a love story. It's a story of a lady that uh, loves the life, uh, that ama la vita. Mm -hmm. uh, she ama to travel. Uh, so it's, it's the story of today, the millennials. Today they don't want to have uh, only a love story. They want to live the life and uh, the whole experience. All experience, correct. Okay. Um, what is your favorite bottle design ever? In terms of design? Design, yes. In terms of design. I cannot mention some competitor. <laughs> From Ferragamo? From Ferragamo, 
I guess uh, this is uh, one of the most, I guess, the most uh, particular and precious bottle we did. Uh, this is really unique because we engraved the, the glass uh, and this is really So this is engraved? This is engraved. Now okay. this is very precious, I tell you. It's something that uh, you need really to invest money to do that. Okay. And what is your favorite perfume? From Ferragamo again. From Ferragamo, <laughs> no, but uh, I, normally I use, uh, in the last uh, one year, one year and a half, I use Uomo. Yes. Uh, that is my, f and now I'm wearing Uomo. Uh, As I a product, I mean, not what you wear, what is, like, what are you s the, the most proud of? In, in terms of products? In terms of uh, fragrance, of perfume. Signorina, for Signorina. sure. Signorina is our bestseller. Yes. Worldwide, in 90 countries. Everybody knows Signorina, everybody loves Signorina. Uh, the concept, the bottle, the fragrance, because we have three, four fra different fragrances. So this is our pillar and I hope Amo is going to be a new pillar for the future. Okay, thank you so much for thank your you. time today. Thank you. And um, um, if you really like to discover the new Amo Ferragamo and check out the details, the smell, the bottle and all the, the flowers inside, Check it out in the uh, perfumeries, it's out. Thank you so much for having us and uh, happy spring, everyone. Okay, thank you Bye. to everybody. What's the mean?